This boy went to Harvard University, came back with a first class and came to have everybody shaking in their boots. This is the Bole recipe of your dreams. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel. I am a digital content creator and YouTuber based in Patakon, Nigeria. I mostly post recipe videos. I also share a bit of my lifestyle in vlogs. If that sounds like your thing, if you're interested in premium content, please subscribe to the channel. But today we are focusing on this bole, so let's get cooking. These are some of the ingredients we'll be using for our bole. The full ingredient list and their quantities are going to be in the description box, so please check that out. First things first, we are going to be preparing our fresh pepper and tomatoes. I am just going to use my food processor to blend this because I don't want it to be very smooth. I just want it to be a little bit rough and blended. You can also just use your knife to chop them, but I prefer to use my food processor. As you can see, this is what it looks like after blending. It is not totally smooth and that is what we are going for. Now, in another bowl, we are just going to add in some dried thyme, some soya spice and a little bit of the fish seasoning. We're just going to add that and then we're going to mix properly. This is what we are going to be using to rub on the fish and make sure that it is properly marinated. Basically, we are just seasoning the fish. But first things first, we're going to be making incisions on the fish. You can make as many or as little incisions as you want. I just want to do like exactly like this because I prefer it that way. Also, the reason we are doing this is because we want to make sure that whatever spices and ingredients we're going to be using on the fish is going to be inside the fish and not just on the surface. So after doing that, we are just going to start adding or we are going to add the mixture that we just made. Just add the spices on top and the seasoning and then just rub it inside the fish. Make sure that you are rubbing everywhere on this fish. Also, if you don't like head of fish like me, you can just cut it off. I just had to leave it because I'm making a video. Anyways, I'm just going to do that and then I'll turn the other side of the fish and repeat the same process. Like I said, this is just to make sure that we are properly or we are seasoning the fish properly. After doing all of this, we are just going to cover it and just set aside or you can also just leave it in a cool place and just set aside. While that is marinating, we are going to start preparing our plantains. This is just a tutorial for people who don't know how to open the plantain or cut your plantains. Basically, you just make an incision in the middle and then use your hands to remove the skin from the actual plantain and it's just that easy. Also, you can use yam or potatoes in this recipe. I just wanted to use only plantains. If you have yams and potatoes, if you love them, you can also use them here. I'm just going to remove all the plantains from the skin and then we will be cutting to our preferred or desired size. Let me also state that even though I am cutting my plantains, you can decide not to cut yours at all and just leave it like as it is. This is just a personal preference, but know that if you're leaving it to be as it is, it's going to take longer to cook in the oven. Also, we're using an oven for this recipe. We're not using a grill or anything like that. 
I'm just going to add in some bit of the soya spice. This is also a personal preference. You don't have to do that. If you have cayenne pepper, you can also use it. But I had soya spice and I prefer soya spice. So that's what I am using. I'm just going to mix that together, mix, mix it thoroughly basically, and then set aside. You don't have to add salt or any other thing to this please. Now we are going to be transferring our fish and planting into the oven. They'll be in the oven for about 40 minutes and we're going to be flipping them at 10 minutes intervals to make sure that they are evenly cooked. While that's in the oven, we are going to be making our sauce. This is the sauce that makes or breaks this recipe. First things first, we're going to heat up a pan and then we're going to be adding some palm oil to the pan and then we'll just allow this to heat up for about 5 minutes. We're not bleaching this, you guys. We're just going to let it heat for about 5 minutes on medium heat. After that, we are going to be adding our sliced onions. You can cut, you can slice, you can dice, however you want to do your onions, just do it. But I prefer this because this is the original way for bole or for making bole. You just want to see the onions, it's part of it. Basically, we're just going to saute that for about one minute and then we are going to add our pepper and tomato mix that we made earlier. After adding your pepper and tomato mix, now we are just going to be stirring and combining them properly. We're just going to be very careful because this thing has tendencies to splash a lot. So you just have to be very careful. Also, you're cooking on medium heat, you're not cooking on high heat, you're not cooking on low heat. Now we are just going to be adding our fish seasoning. We are also going to be adding some of our dry thyme or the leftover dry thyme. We are also going to be adding some seasoning cube. I'm using just one here. You don't really need so much here. And then I'll be adding some salt. This is literally all you need to add to this sauce and it is still good. So please don't go above and beyond adding time. I'm sorry, adding curry and the rest things. You, this is basically what you need. It's as basic as this. Now I am just going to stir, combine, allow to sit for about five to 10 minutes and your sauce is ready, you guys. This is how fast it can be. As you can see, this is about five, seven minutes ish and this is what it looks like. Once your oil starts floating on top, you know that the sauce is ready and you can take it off the heat and literally your sauce is ready. After about 30 minutes in the oven, now we are just going to bring out the fish and the plantain. Then we are going to be rubbing some of the sauce that we made earlier on the fish. This is just going to take this fish to another level. The sauce being marinated inside, everything is just going to be perfect. You guys, you can't skip this. You really can't skip this. So this is what we are going to just do. And then we are going to take back the fish into the oven for about another 10 minutes and our fish is ready. And that is it you guys. This is how you make the perfect bole recipe. Please, if you do like this video, do not forget to click the like button, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, do not forget to leave a comment and also please share the video. All these things just help my channel grow. Also, if you do try out this recipe, do not forget to let me know. I love seeing you guys creations, so please share with me on my Instagram, share with me on my TikTok. I want to see what you guys have recreated from my channel. Thank you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.